Hey, welcome to another video. Um, in my last video, a lot of people complained about my setup because there was a lot of noise and hiss in my recordings. So I changed a lot of stuff. I have uh, removed all the limiters and EQs from the microphone. And I actually um, don't use the limiter in my um, recording program. So this should work fine uh, this time. Um, in this video, I want to talk about things that should change within the beta period. Small things that could change and make beta, uh, the, the 3.0 release much, much better. And the first thing is the module section here at the top. And we have different categories for the modules, which is great. But my problem with this is a lot of most of the times I know exactly which module I, I, I need for my um, for my currently preset and I have the name of the module in my head and I want to type it in. So there needs to be a search field at the top, I think, because now I have to think about what module do I need and in what in which category it's in. So most of the times I'm clicking aimlessly around searching for the right category to find my module. And um, this takes a lot of time. I, I think most of the times I'm just clicking around and searching for the right tab. And then we have, of course, a lot of modules already in some categories. So you have to scroll and look for each module, which is the right one you're searching for. And this could change. There could be a search field at the top or when you right click here and have a search field then pop up and you can type in the module, then insert it quickly. That would be very, very nice. So this is the first uh, the first thing. And the second thing is um, we have actually this feature in the grid here, which is this lock symbol. And you can click this and then the grid is removed. We don't have this module section at the top. We can still move around and we see the cables, but you can't move the modules so they are basically locked and this is pretty nice because in this uh, you can build an interface with this so uh, let's imagine you have a uh, setup a grid setup and you move this here and you build your um, interface or kind of interface with these knobs uh, value and level and stuff like that maybe we get some um, faders in the future future releases but for now we have these buttons and now I can hit lock and then I have some kind of interface here. And it's what the problem is, we can still move around and we can see the stuff we want to hide. And there's a lot of cables sometimes. So when you have a cable going from, uh, from this uh, thing into this, so we have a lot of cables coming down here. So maybe it would be great to have something like lock the, po um, the position of the view and hide the cables so all the cables are hidden and um, maybe that's a nice way an easy way to get some kind of an interface for people that want to build complex instruments but want to abstract away the complexity right so maybe that's a nice idea i don't know but i think it would be pretty easy to uh, implement um, so a button to hide the cables and yeah, lock the view, maybe something like this. Um, another problem I have with the beta right now is um, when you have something um, like this in window, extended window, and you um, resize it pretty fast. And at some cases, it's flickering red, but not, not every time, sometimes. I don't know what this exactly is can see like this when I change the window size randomly it pops a uh, red red overlay pops up I don't know what the problem is with that but that should change too I think and one of the features of the 3.0 beta release was that all the hover information uh, hover informations are removed so when you go to a knob here and you go with your mouse over the knob you had in the previous releases some kind of small info overlay 
with the node information or the frequency. And the node information is very important to me. And now we have this hover removed. So we have to look down here at the bottom to see the information. But the node information is gone. So I have to actually go in here and type again the node I want to have to make sure it's, it's the right frequency, right? So I can see it's 49 hertz, but I don't know if, if it's the right node. So um, it would be nice to have the node information back, at least at the bottom. Um, with the removable uh, remove of the uh, inf hover uh, information overlays, I don't know if, if that's a nice change, because sometimes when you have uh, a big chain, a long chain, and you go to one button, hover over it, and you have to look at the bottom left, and then you go with your eyes back to the top right of the chain. So you have a lot of movement of, you need to look at different places all the time to just make sure you have the right values. So maybe, I don't know if that's a great change, but um, I can live with it as not that, uh, it's not that big of a problem. So these are all my problems with the beta right now. So not very much. The rest is completely fine. I'm happy with the current beta release of Bitwig Studio 3.0. It's, I think it's the best release we had in the recent years. Um, it's pretty stable. I have no crashes. Sometimes the audio engine is uh, crashing, but um, you can um, just um, restart it and then you're good to go. And yeah, pretty great release. Um, Another topic I want to talk about is physical modeling. Um, I watch a lot of videos from this guy, yeah? uh, Kevin from Audio Digital, and he has a lot of videos about synthesis, how you can build synths, FM synthesis, physical modeling, and so on. Pretty great guy, nice channel, and he said he will make a lot of videos in the coming weeks, coming days, coming month. So go to Audio Digital. I put a link in the description. Subscribe to Kevin. He make a lot of nice uh, videos. So that's my tip. But um, in his last video, he talked about physical modeling. And I remembered that I did an, some kind of physical modeling synth with my Bitwig pack, uh, Polarity Tools, I think it's called. And um, yeah, you can download this um, here in the package section uh, below artist collection and there's the polarity tools um, uh, package you can install. And um, yeah, there is a preset called Briswick because I was inspired by um, how, it's, how is it called? Um, Prism from Native Instruments and where you have a lot of, um, yeah, physical modeling stuff uh, presets inside. So I built basically a resonator bank and I built some noise bursts that go through these resonator banks here. And um, yeah, I tried my best to come up with nice sounds. And uh, Kevin made this video about physical modeling uh, yesterday. And I remembered my synth and I thought, well, maybe I try um, some physical modeling I have to make a short break. It's actually called physical modeling, not physical modeling. For myself in the grid two, and I created two presets that I want to share with you um, via my GitHub repository. And the first one is called Gitter God. <laughs> and I try to model or uh, create a Gitter patch and let's decrease that uh, sizing here a bit. And I create uh, to create a guitar sound. And we have, of course, uh, of course, a noise burst here at the front, some filtering, uh, mixer, ADSR. And then we go to the comp filter, which is basically a resonator bank, if you will. And um, yeah, that's that's creating and hope I didn't delete something important here. Uh, let's remove that. I think that's that's important here. Yeah, I don't have to remove that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is how it sounds. Um, it's on. Yes, nice. 
some reverb so it becomes like a pad It's not perfect, it's not a perfect guitar, but it's my first uh, try, I, basically one hour of work. Um, I think it's great to share, so it's my guitar repository. Um, I call this Guitar God. Hmm. Okay. Um, so this one is free to download for you, and the second one is Jupiter Drone. Let's listen to that. Oh, it's actually an extended window. I think it sounds great. Um, you can see I have here um, used um, velocity input. So when you push your keys harder, then the sound changes a bit. I think it sounds great. Um, it's called Jupiter Drone and it's also available in my GitHub repository. And yeah, um, what else? Um, was there something else I want to talk about? I think I think I want to talk about this track here actually. Okay. Let's do that. Let's save this patch again. Make sure it's safe. Let's play this tune. Yeah, that's a pretty generative um, track or project and uh, I fiddled around today and I also posted a video on, on Instagram or my social media channels and showed this and I think I make this available too in my GitHub repository and it's called Gritnik. So you can go to my GitHub, download this project, download the presets and can play around with all the stuff and uh, yeah make some alterations and yeah send me some feedback and yes that's it for this video thanks for watching and uh, leave me comments leave me a like and i see you in the next video bye